Hey everybody, Nakul here from Skills PT Academic. I really hope everybody is doing fantastic. Well, if you have a doubt in your mind as to what tips are actually working in 2023 and which are those tips which are not working, I'm actually confused, Nakul. Can you throw some light then? I believe you are at the right place. At the right time, you are watching this video because today I will be enlightening you, discussing a lot of things about top most important tips that actually work all right so stay tuned till the end so let's start with the tip number one let's start in the order from pt speaking then writing reading and listening in the pt speaking the very first module read loud do you know that a lot of techniques the lot of tips which you may not be aware of the most important tip the tip number one in read aloud that actually work that actually really 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 work uh, which is you can go to any extent to maintain the fluency so what exactly i mean by this there are some difficult words i will be stuck and i will fumble and i end up giving unwanted pauses as a result scores go down difficult words you skip can i really skip it yes how many words as many as you want can i skip all the words of course not try to speak whenever you find a difficult word skip them not at the cost of fluency what i mean is you can speak and skip the word and just jump to the next word and just speak which are the words like 10 words difficult words skip them will like will it actually work definitely it will work it is known to give a very good score to your speaking and reading both so what exactly i mean let me just share my screen so here the highlighted yellow ones let's say they're difficult ones so what exactly i'm talking about i can skip not at the cost of your fluency what i mean by this is tiger seat a variety of prey ranging in size from to elephant however an integral component of their diet are large bodied prey weighing about 20 kg or 45 or larger such as moose deer species pigs cows horses buffaloes and goats occasionally they may consume tapirs elephant and calves bear species leopards and wild dogs this is the way not rushing not taking extra poses when you skip you just skip as if the word is not there if you're wondering will it really work it will definitely work it will give a very good score to yours your speaking and reading both and don't hesitate to use this if at all you have problems in difficult words let's quickly move to the tip number two which is in repeat sentence you can again go to any extent to make sure your fluency is perfect your fluency is upright content is not a priority let's say there are 12 words and you ended up speaking all the 12 words correctly you ended up repeating all the 12 words correctly well and good but when you repeating when you're repeating all those 12 words if you found value you get zero marks there in the repeat sentence so what people end up doing they try to repeat everything but fluency is completely gone because of that they get very low score they have no clue as to why the marks are so low in listening because of this module. So, Nakul, what is the technique? Very simple. If there are 12 words, you listen to 6 words and speak 6 words. But when you speak, you cannot fumble. Will it actually work? 100% yes. These are the tips that actually work, actually gives you a very good result in your exam with respect to your speaking and listening. So, what exactly I mean by this? Pearson says in their score guide. If 50% of the content is right, you most probably would get full marks, but your fluency should be perfect. That means when you speak, you try to imitate the speaker in terms of the fluency, not in terms of accent. You cannot give unwanted pauses. You have to go very fluent, but you still speak 50-60%. That will still fetch you full mark. So let me just share my screen and demonstrate what exactly I mean by this. So I'll just play the audio. <coughs> I love the smell of freshly brewed coffee in the morning. I loved the coffee in the morning. I loved the smell of freshly brewed. I loved the coffee in the morning, but I am speaking continuously. I did not give any unwanted pauses. I was very continuous. I end up getting full marks. Next one. Every pain gives a lesson and every lesson changes a person. Every pain changes a person. Nakul, are you really sure? Will it actually work? It will definitely work. Don't speak very small sentences. If there are 10 words, make sure you at least speak 6 words. But fluency should be perfect. And if you do this 100%, you will end up getting a very good score. Tip number 3. 
this actually works for describe image a lot of people are trying out new new things in third party applications you don't really have to do that with respect to describe image because describe image seems like person is giving more preference to the content no to the fluency over the content you worry too much about the content your fluency goes down in describe image don't have to too much worried about the keywords the maximum value i want to give a perfect keyword no marks for that uh, whether you give or not you don't get a good score what gives you score is not the template it's the fluency so if you ask me randomly four things you point out from the image anything for any image and have a template and just speak this four keywords fluently and get full marks will it actually work it actually is working <laughs> definitely working so i'm gonna show you what exactly i meant so let me just share my screen so this is the template that i have for every image so just four keywords anything it could be a color it could be a value it could be title whatever it is just four things you notice and just speak but when you speak if you go with intonation you get zero if you give with stressing the words you get zero if you go unnatural you end up getting zero and you worry i followed what this knuckle guy told in skillspeed youtube channel still i'm not getting score no 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 because you're not following it but you're assuming you're following it so how to read the given image represents a beautiful image there must have been a popular debate about the information present in the image for the keywords keyword one and keyword two However, information present for the keyword 3 and keyword 4 seems to be false. From the image, it is clear that maximum value seems to be constant, which further states the importance of the topic present in the image. In conclusion, the given image includes a complicated data and the analysis with the da 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 This is the fluency. Any random four keywords. I just spoke keyword 1 and keyword 2, keyword 3, keyword 4. You figure out from the image and just put it and speak. All the images. Will it actually work? Yes. It will definitely work. But what gives you mark is fluency. Not just speaking this will not give you mark. The given image represents a beautiful image. You did zero. The given image represents a beautiful image. Then you get full marks. It's the fluency over the content. If you're wondering whether to use it or not, just trust me blindly. Go with it and use it. You'll get marks. But your fluency should be perfect. Let's come to the tip number four. The most useful tip. Especially for shorter audios in a written lecture. The audio went only for 30 seconds, sometimes 28 seconds, 31 seconds. I was able to write two or just three small, small keywords or phrases. What am I supposed to do? Very simple. You have a template. I am going to show the template now. Just speak the template with these three things. But Nakul template will have five lines and I've written only small two, three lines. Repeat the template, repeat the things until you cross some 25 to 30 seconds or 35 seconds. What I exactly meant? Just watch out for this. I'm just sharing my screen. So this is the template that I've got. And these are the lines. Let's say I have written works in public relations and I went to school. Okay, I have not written even this. Only one and two. How to make sure I speak for at least 30 seconds? A very simple. See, you have written less content. So for sure, you're going to lose one or two marks for your listening. But speaking, you have to get full. You need to be fluent. At, as long as you speak, at least let's say you speak for 30 seconds. Try to be as fluent as possible. You get full marks to speaking. Since you have written very less number of content, one or two marks definitely you would lose for listening, but at least get full marks to speaking, right? Software will not know that you are repeating the data. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about works in public relations. In the beginning, the speaker explained about I went to school. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of works in public relations and I went to school. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that I went to school and works in public relations. In conclusion, speaker gives the important key points about and I went to school and works in public relations and I went to school. Da, 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 da. I am continuously speaking. I am very, very fluent. Speaking has to be 90. It will be 90 if you speak like this. Listening, one or two marks you may lose. But... You cannot do much. If you don't speak this much, the speaking also goes down. Think about it. The tip number five is summarize written text. I've told in many videos what people do. They try to paraphrase. They try to use a different vocabulary, different words. So don't do all these things. Your reading marks will go down. Summarize written text contributes marks to your writing and reading both. What has to be done? Copy, paste. To two full sentences, not half sentences. After a full stop, copy, paste. Not half, not halfway through. Till you find one full stop, that would be one sentence. The same way, after one more sentence, after a full stop, copy paste till you find another full stop, two sentence. 
write them together in between them comma and in the end put a full stop that's all summarized written text is now cool. will this technique tip actually work it actually works gives you full marks towards your writing and reading so let me just share my screen and show you what exactly i meant so this is the big paragraph here so in this paragraph i have taken after a full stop porcupine sub software until i find a comma comma until i find i found a full stop this is my first sentence right and then after a full stop i copy paste till i find a full stop if i, if I see um, a question mark probably i'll not copy if it is a full stop then i'll copy the entire sentence i put it here in between i put comma and and most important thing is i have to put a full stop here that's all summarized written text is will it actually work it will definitely work the tip number six that actually works in pt exam in 2023 is about essay one generic template no need to have multiple 10 different templates agree disagree one diff, one template problem solutions one template problem causes one template opinion based on template all this for IELTS for PTE no just have one template and write content is not a priority what is priority grammar and spelling so focus on that over content what what people do they try to write a logically correct statement that goes with the topic something related to the topic you write don't have to get too much into the essence of the meanings of the topic whether am I, am I making sense to the question logically is it fitting and if the essay is about television you can say television can cause AIDS you will not be penalized for that when you will be penalized television can cause AIDS television spelling if you write it wrong that's where you will be penalized hope we are getting it recently I made a video I think yesterday I made a video on shocking news 2023 essay changes have a look at it i've explained everything which template to use how to use cause simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence the video is here the link in the description go watch it after this video you will have a lot of knowledge immense knowledge about how to write a perfect essay for a very good score in your writing and if i share my screen here this is the template that i've shown in my previous essay video and in this as well i have put that link in the description you can have a look at it it's just not the template it's about spelling and the grammar and how you fill not what you feel what content no how you fill the content simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence this actually make a huge difference tip number seven is most crucial most important because this actually helps you actually work skipping few of the modules and those modules are in the reading choose single choose multiple don't even spare a single second one second also you're not supposed to spare just read see the question click one move on choose multiple see the question click one and move on so that you say some four minutes that four minutes you can put towards your reading if i view. the same way in the listening module choose single answer choose multiple answer select missing word highlight correct summary all these four are unwanted modules if you put your heart and soul into it and keep practicing and doing it and do that in the exam by spending four minutes right from dictation gone case right from dictation comes towards the end total uh, 30 minutes will be given let's say entire listening is time let's say it's given 30 minutes and you're spending a lot of time on this unwanted modules which don't even give you marks by the time you reach you reach right from dictation let's say you are left with 40 seconds how will you write three or four questions you will miss three questions and get 40 overall be very careful right from dictation gives you 45 to 50 marks towards your listening and writing these modules don't give any mark intentionally kept you just skip them listen to the audio click one and move on don't spend extra time on these modules they don't give any mark will it actually work it actually works in 2023 the tip number eight is most useful i've made many many videos on 10 grammar shortcuts in our course we have the grammar itself around 30 to 35 hours video so there i've taken a small trailer a small snippet that is after two tvo two or will would may might shall should model verbs we call after them there is a blank let's say in the reading fill in the blanks you just have to go to that particular option which is verb one means present tense it's not past tense it's not past participle i like to eat i will eat not eat i would eat i shall eat i shall eat wrong after these modal verbs or two if there is a blank just choose v1 so what exactly i meant let's check that out here verb one is avoid is a verb one this is v2 this is v2 and refers is vs verb with us 
after two can will would may might shall should ought there could be a lot of modal verbs you will have verb one only after two verb one only you don't have to even see anything just randomly shoot at the answer is avoid and move on trust me it actually works 99 percent of the times this is true after two noun can also come i went to london <laughs> you can come, I'm not scaring you, but 99.99% of the times after two verb one will come. The same rule will be applicable for can, will, would, may, might, shall. Check out my recent uh, video on 10 grammar shortcuts. You will have a lot of idea and if you need more assistance, join us, join our course. It's a paid course. We will help you with everything that is required. We'll have one more um, question before we take up the tip number nine, the most useful tip. So here, will is there. After will, verb in the base form. Lived cannot come, state cannot come. But Nakul, eat is also verb one. Inhabit is also verb one. Now get the context. Female offspring will eat generally the same vicinity. Vicinity means area. Can you eat the area? <laughs> no. You can stay in the area or live in the area or inhabit the area. So now eat is wrong. Answer has to be inhabit. Hope you are getting it. But it's not all the time just the grammar. Context also matters. But grammar can actually narrow down the options. Think about it. The technique number nine, the tip number nine that actually works in your PTA exam is, we'll talk about it. It's about articles. We share these premium techniques, premium tips to our students in the course, but one of them have taken it here so that you also get the equal benefit. So what exactly I mean by this article concept, articles is A and the. Using these concepts, how can we solve listening fill in the blanks? Hold on not just listening fill in the blanks, inside the listening fill in the blanks, you will have a problem with S. The developments happen. Development or developments? Potato. Potato or potatoes? Nakul, I am getting crazy. You, if you know the article concept, it becomes a cakewalk. Piece of cake. You can do it at lightning speed. So what exactly am I meant by that? Understand these concepts are very, very important. Not that straightforward. There's a concept called uncountable noun and countable noun. Let's talk about the countable noun, the nouns which you can count. I can count one phone or a phone. Ye phone means one phone. Can I write just phone? No. This is the concept. A countable noun cannot exist on its own. In its singular form. In its plural form, yes. Phones you can use. Phone, no. I went to buy phone. Wrong. I went to buy a phone. So using this concept, if ye is there and then dash, this has to be without a singular, a phone. If ye is not there and dash is there, it has to be phones. Because without ye, phone cannot come. It has to be phones. Getting it right? If ye is there and there is a blank in the listening, fill in the blank, you need to go to that option which do not have us. If ye is not there and there is a blank, this answer will be ending with S. Let's demonstrate this. So this is a listening, fill in the blanks. Trust me, even before playing the audio, I would know. And also now you would know whether these blanks have singular noun or plural noun. It primarily preys on dash, on ye something. If ye is not there, this something has to be plural. Requiring large, ye large, ye is not there, this has to be plural. Sorry, not singular, plural. I'll explain you again. Tiger, we will talk. This we will see again. You will understand more when I play the audio. Let's, let's do this. The tiger panthera tigris is the largest living cat species and a member of the genus panthera. It is most recognizable for its dark vertical stripes on orange fur with a white underside. An apex predator, it primarily preys on ungulates. Ungulates, S was there, it's clearly audible. But even if you don't listen to them, using this concept on an ungulate, an is not there, it has to be ungulates. Here, S has to come. Such as deer and wild boar. It is territorial and generally a solitary but social predator, requiring large contiguous areas of habit. Requiring a large contiguous area. If A is not there, it has to be areas. Second one, requiring large contiguous areas. It's, it was clear, but sometimes what happens? Requiring large contiguous areas of. Requiring large contiguous areas of. Areas of, they will be very fast that you don't even 
get to actually listen in this area or areas but you have skills pt academic you have this grammar knowledge from us make use of it an area generally requiring a the large panthera tigris is the large requiring a large contiguous area if a is not that it has to be areas we'll continue with it solitary but social predator requiring Here. large contiguous areas of habitat to support its requirements for prey and rearing of its offspring tiger cubs stay with their mother tiger cubs stay tiger cubs stay cub cub is a kid the baby of a tiger now tiger cub or ka tiger cubs tiger cubs stay with their mother should i tell the answer or you want to write down in the comment section you can write down in the comment section i make sure we will come back and tell you whether you have got the correct answer or not so the question is is it cub or cub yes hope you are getting it is it cub or cubs okay please apply the concepts if you write if you written the wrong answer i would know i'm a very bad teacher doesn't mean that if you write a correct answer i don't say i'm a perfect teacher but i'll be happy that at least it is um, helpful the people are understanding it okay so first is praise on angulates yes has to come here contiguous areas here tiger cub or cubs you decide and the tip number 10 that actually works i'm not lying it actually works i'm not lying baba it actually works but still many are saying no 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 call it will not work why are you saying but i'm telling you it actually works in 2023 which is adding extra words in right from dictation what what bro what are you talking about man seriously can we do it some are doing it some are scared and not doing it all my students are every day doing it check out our insta page where i've shown we have shown their score reports last four days i think 13 people 14 people 13 to 14 have got 79 plus all of them have used it check out our youtube shorts we have put all all of their testimonies so what exactly i meant by adding extra words i'm going to play this right from dictation audio let's listen to it so let's play this audio the village walk that happened yesterday was attended by lead people all right let's understand what exactly i was talking about when i say adding extra words this is the actual answer the first line the village walk that happened yesterday was attended by elite people 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 eleven words are there you write exactly as it is you get eleven marks no doubt as no doubt about it but the pre the below one actually gives you eleven only pay attention i've added village extra spelling walk walks happen happened was is if you notice attend attended elite double spelling but how will it count grammar is all wrong grammar doesn't matter what makes a difference is the correct spelling how it will count the the one mark village village one mark walk walk one mark that happened that happened one mark yesterday was yesterday was attended by elite people attended by elite people so this way you have to add some are wondering whether adding like this will actually get me low mark no every day in my course students are adding and getting 90 out of 90 you can check the same in our youtube shorts youtube page insta page as well you have to add if at all you have a doubt please add so that you make sure you can get 11 out of 11 otherwise most of the people end up getting 9 or 8 because of which the scores will not be 79 plus with this we will park the video here i really hope the video made sense and hold on before leaving if you think this video was very valuable and you want something more something like this more tips and tricks do comment i will be back with more video something on this sort and if you have missed my previous recent video on essay changes in 2023 a lot of people are getting very good score in their reading listening and speaking 1990 90 writing 64 well if you belong to that category then i suggest quickly quickly watch this video you will have solution as to why it is so and what has changed as the software upgraded recently what has to be done which template to be used everything in this video with this i'll pack it here really thanks much for watching this video this is nakul signing off from skills pt academic very soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye and don't forget to subscribe skills pt academy